kingdoms kushinda vita juu ya dhurumba juu ya dhurumba tunaishi maisha ambao na nyakati ambazo uh, we need to analyze and understand and discern kitu kinaitwa storms za maisha za mapepo za hali because storms zaweza kuwa katika maisha zaweza kuwa katika natural life natural disaster because dunia ina laana yake ambayo inaweza toa storms dunia hii dunia na tamaa zake zaweza leta dhuruba haya maisha yako yenyewe the way you live yaweza leta dhuruba shetani aweza ileta now storm you know ukiangalia katika ukawaida they say storm is a violent disturbance disturbance that is violent ni kusubuliwa au kushabuliwa au kuinukiwa kwa njia ya funjo na njia inayokusubua it is disturbance ni kusubuka lakini it is forceful ni kitu ambacho is violent ehe kwa hivyo storm is never calm unless it is calmed <laughs> Dhoruba huja ikuwa violent na dhoruba huleta disturbance na katika normally wa uh, you know sometimes ukiwa kwa dege uh, unajiuliza when pilot like no pilot akitoka dubai anaenda new york ni 14 and half hours flight i don't know is he sure kwamba hakuna turbulence turbulence unajua kwa nini ndege ndege kwa hewa inaweza kuwa na shida kwa maana engine ya ndege hutumia hewa ni hewa huingia alafu engine inapiga hewa hiyo hewa inainua ndege that is simple the way so hewa ikiwa mbaya ndege hata kama ina engine mzuri husubuka zaidi now how do they know sometimes siku hizi kumekuwa uh, kumekuwa na hali ya kujua unaambiwa kuna wakati mmoja tuliingia hiyo penea like kwa now things you be okay although the flight has turbulence when you hear that unajua hutarara kwa ndege utazubuka and sometimes they struggle na kuta ndege tuliingia moja new york kwenda shiado na i tell you for two hours sijaona ndege kama hiyo hukeshika kitu hivi it was repeat but i have never seen it this way nikaingia kenya yao isikenda kisumu kitabonekea kisumu ikawa na shida vijana wakasema hii ndege kama ingekuwa na mama anatarajia kuzaa angezalia huko ndani <laughs> sometimes things are that way now violent disturbance of atmosphere mazingira unaokaa ndani yake either ni ya kiroho kiakili kifamilia is disturbed violently oh uh, they say violent disturbance of atmosphere with a strong wind strong wind upepo usio wa kawaida sometimes katika mazingira unasema usually iwe ni rain wind zanda lightning snow vitu kama hizo ukina sehemu zingine kama za America ambazo zimekaa karibu na bahari akina Florida akina akina maybe don't know um, Portland Oregon sehemu hizo kama Washington state utakuta nyumba zao hawajengi na mawe wanajenga na bao lakini bao ambayo is is funny inaweza kaa miaka 900 bao floor ni bao ambao unaambiwa e floor atomwagie maji inaweza kaa 900 years and then you ask them why do you do it they don't say it's fun wasema hivi kwa sababu haijulikani any time kwaweza tokea dhoruba na ili isifanye damage kubwa ya kuwa watu wali adopt hiyo that's a that's a response hiyo ni kitu hatua alichukua baada ya kuona uh, bahari iliyo pande wa west 
yaweza leta dhoruba kubwa kuna wakati zinatokea unakuta uh, vua imenyesha nyumba zimeanguka zote they are used to that na sometimes unasema uh, dhoruba is a severe weather weather ambao imeenda extreme like now kuna joto nimeona vijana ambao nichikira nimevaa hii kanguo watu wanajua mimi suti kupa ninua suti iko na hii inatupaga lakini sasa ni kubaya wapendwa hii ka kitu nimekatafuta asubuhi nimetafuta companion wa hii na kabia sasa si kubaya jana nilizikia barida nilikuwa kwa adua sababu hai mwana nitaivia haleluya eh hey, hata wengine hapa najua ukiona wana hii ya, ya nje wako na ya ndani <laughs> wamama wamevaa kama wako kesha mwezi kama udi unajua nguo za baridi hasa tuletu nguo tunaitwa leto urara tokekoba tutatolewa this month ha, haijaanza mtaona julai ikifika urara itatolewa sana hapa but our, our advice you please don't come na nguo zingine za kekoba kwa ibada vaa katikati ya wiki be smart before god be smart before god unajua watu wametumia i don't like uh, churches in uh, i don't like the way americans dress i like british kama kuna watu careless interesting ni americans kwa ba kupata suti kama hiyo in america is hard kwa maana wanakula baga wananenepa wengi they don't care and that's why you need to be very careful na mafundisho ya kanisa za america hasa mavasi na maoni psychology yao unakuta pastor ameenda amevaa kinyasa kanisani na hajali kwao si issue unasema they are anti british kwa maana the british colonize them baada baada kuita cho toilet wanaita washroom just wawe na jina tofauti na british <laughs> eh, baada kupima joto na centigrade wanapima na fahrenheit wana unakuta and and then they don't they're not so wakakata si hawana sana a british akwambia excuse me mna mpango pako hata ukija kwa hotel kwao ni haraka 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 kazi haraka maliza tuende mambo mengine and, uh, okay, and please don't be be very careful mtofautishe tabia za giza za makanisa za america na neno are you are you, are you, are you okay tunaona mhubiri kwa tv mhubiri haogopi anasema doa yake ni ya tatu unajua yes they are there anasema mume wangu ni watatu na anahubiri tu kwa maana katika tabia zao za doa majority challenge ilitokea ya serikali na nini na ushetani kwamba makanisa inajaribiwa kuandika wanaruhusu remarriage wabokiona mwanamke wa miaka 80 miaka 60 hasa britain na mengine mengine sometimes sometimes unaenda mtu anafanya introduction unakuta huu ni mke au ni mume mmoja anasema mzee anasema bishop can we introduce ourselves yes okay Ma, mzee anasema hivi mtoto huyu ni wa huyu na mke wake huyu ni wangu huyu ni wetu kisha nini that's how we are watoto hao tumegawana huyu alikuyu mahali alikuwa ameolewa alikuja na huyu na mimi mahali nilikuwa nimeoa nilikuja na huyu lakini tulipopatana tukapata huyu eh, na wanazaacha na tena usikie stories zingine na wasifu tu we need to know heaven hatuwedi tukipitia tabia za wazungu tunaenda tukipitia the word and that's why we have a problem na makanisa mengine Nairobi hata vitabu vya marriage wao wanaamini mtoto ndio namba 1 mama ndio namba 2 alafu vitu vingine hapa utasema mzee ndio mwisho sasa vitabu vyao vya counseling vitabu vyao vya marriage they bet to us that we want the number talk about mzee kutunza mama mzee kununulia mama maua mzee kupikia mama na kumtunza they don't talk about mzee kutunzwa hata nyimbo unasikia nyimbo zikiimbo za Kina Lois Kim ni nini unapelekea maua sasa sometimes unauliza baba Jimmy wimbo kama maua ate ukatoa maua ali akisema nini mnunue ka plot hello praise god 
you know, we need I said to people, we need biblical teaching. We need it, friends. God bless so much. Zavania chapter 3, verse 17. Zavania. Uh, I hope you have your Bible with you. I would like to read a verse there very quickly by the grace of God. And the Lord will bless us as we serve him. Now, Savania, usip ede bari sana, ni jirani ya ragai, na mazakaria, na marakai. Uki, ukipata marakai, rodi nyuma. Upite zakaria, rodi nyuma. Upite agai, rodi nyuma. Upate Savania. Najua hizo ni kitabu hapa musabagi sana. Zara. Savania. Ah, I want to quote a scripture. Savania. Kuna vitabu hato. <laughs> Labda hapa kuku. Kuna vitabu hatu hawakotu sana. Kitabu kama yona, sefania. Na vitabu kama, wacha ni mabie gini hapa, sitasikia mkistukotu sana. Uh, nahum, nahum, na mika. Hizo utasikia toki hapa sana. Lakini ya utasoma sefania, chapter 3, verse 17. Baby nasema, buwana mungu wako, yu katikati yako. Yu katikati yako, Suja awezae kukuokoa. Ata kushangilia kofra haku. Ata kutuliza katika upendo wake. Ata kufurahia kwa kuimba. Mbwana asifiwe. The Lord your God is in your midst. The mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Now, one of thing is this. Kuna storm, apa inaitua internal storm. Internal? Unakuta dani yako, wacha, we, wacha dhoruba za inje. Dani yako kuna hasira imeinuka. Dani yako kuna rebelliousness. Rebelliousness ni wakati mutu hataki kusikia. Ukiambua tulia, hutaki. Ukiambua omba, hutaki. Ukiambua samehe, hutaki. Ukiambua tafadhali, tafadhali, usivikiria mabaya, hutaki. Ukiambua mpendwa, keti kidogo. Hutaki. You can be having a storm in you. Na sana sana mtu ambaye haombi sana na hajari sana vide mungu hubariki. Lekina sasa, kuna watu wabao haujari huduma. Hakuna mahali mungu atakuabia wabia mtu wapone. Hakuna mahali unagojia buwana kuambia enda sasa. Wewe edo kaobea wagojo wa edo kafariji watu. Wewe ni da. Unajua kuna, kuna, kuna muze moja na, na waze uchafuka. Muke wana tu huku huku tumewa masuti. <laughs> muze moja. Lakini huyu muke waka liharibu ye. Asama, Bishop, nini poa? Nilikuwa mpore sana. Nilikuwa tu dugu. Ati akawa dugu sana akitarajia naye mke wake awe dada sana sasa ina, ikawa hivi haya mama anachelewa mabia dugu anatumia jina jina dugu dugu uko kwa nyumba jina dugu Ka, umefika bale nisaidie tu dugu kupikia watoto dugu kwa kusabu ni dugu anawapikia wakakaka asubuhi dugu nasikia niko na hama nisaidie tu kupika kachai Ha? Wakakaka. Akaona hii jina dugu. Amebaki akiwa dugu. Muka waka kakata kuwa dada katika yesu. Nika mwisa sa uliwamu waje. Ate aliamua kukasirika. Hile wa mbrada sema makasiriko. <laughs> kukasirika. Kuwa violent. But you know something? Hili halibu boma yake. Kwa maana... Do you know, alipo amua, aka amua, hataki kiroho nyigi, ate diyo aharibike. Diyo kikasirika, ayazafanya kitu chafu, hataki kiroho nyigi. Hataki buma. Not knowing, not knowing, iyo sahi kwa jia ya kutekeneza. 
na iliharibu nyumba yake even today watoto waliozaa karibu wote wameharibika huyo hata akisoma apate degree shida huyo akisoma apate diploma shida isipokuwa labda wale walikibiria nje unajua kuna watoto kuna watoto huwa wazuri kwa maana alikibiria nje akapata baba mwingine labda sisi mapasta na mabishop ndio tulimchukua even here their children here their brothers here nikukibiria ulikibiria tukakupata otherwise mahali umetoka nikubaya now let me say this you need to, before to get mambo ya dhuruba ya nje dhuruba ya dani na dhuruba ya dani ni wakati ambapo hutaki kusikia hutaki kunenewa hautaki kuguzwa rebelliousness dhuruba ya dani pia ni wakati ambapo hauna hauna self control kiasi kiasi unaweza ongea kile unataka watu kama sisi ni wakubwa wa dini. Unakuta tunaheshimu hata mtoto wa Sunday school. Mimi ni bishop. Lakini hata mtoto hata lika hii unaona kamera hapa na waheshimu. We respect. Unakuta hata kale kandogo kakenywa kakija hapa ninakaheshimu kwa sababu ma, si kwa sababu praise God because nina anointing ambao ni ya kuchunga watu ni ya kulea watu na ina njia yake kuna watu hawana mafuta wanachunga hawajali anybody hata nobie kitu na munisikize any time utaona kanisani dugu anaongea kia nataka na hasa wale unasikia wananipinga sana sana bishop 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 kuna watu in this church walitoka whom i knew something else about them unajua this man kuna case akunaye ya doa alitoka nje na najua hapa ataka lazima aongee kile anataka ukisikia mtu anaongea kile anataka kanisani please msigoje those people who ameanguka therefore because mtu ambaye hajafanya usharati Mtu ambaye hajaanguka huchunga njia ya uzimani. Mkiwaona hata msikojee sana mwambie wewe si wa uzimani kwa maana ungekuwa uzima. Let me tell you something. Sisi mnatuona hapa we have grown up kwa maana tuliombea watu sana na tukaheshimu huduma. Mabishop ambao wamekuwa mbele yangu na wahuduma. We never talk about their weakness. Niliwaheshimu kwa sababu nakumbuka siku moja overseer aliyekuwa bere yangu alinipigia simu akiwa restaurant akamwambia bishop uko wapi ndio kanisani akasema nakutaka saa hii tukutane ofisi ya minister of defense jaga wa Karume Valley Road hapo juu na uje na pesa 25000 hapa kuna joko meja watu nikamwambia baba mase wapikieni chai nikamwambia muende na amani mkubwa wangu ameniita hiyo pesa sikuwa naye nilikopa na nikaongea sagiri kumi. ili kama hiyo 25 tutaipa pahali nilinunulia mkubwa wangu lunch na mpatie fare that's how we get blessed hallelujah that's how we get blessed wasi mwambia sipatikani send your pesa we don't do that unajua kwa nini kuna kitu ndani yangu haiwezi ruhusu hivyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Yes. I know in my life kuna mara nyingi sana nilizuia siasa za kanisa. Siasa nikamjia watu no 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 hamwezi ongea hivyo. Hamwezi ongea hivyo. Hamwezi ongea hivyo. Kwa maana hata katika uongozi wa kanisa kuna watu hawajali. Hawajali kama kanisa itaisha. Hawajali kama whatever. Wengine hawajali and that's why we keep on keep on so waweza kuwa na dhuruba ndani yako that need to be worked on may god help us hallelujah self control kwamba haujizuii tamaa haujizuii it's true wa mama habari yenu mchukaka wadugu hapa wameanguka 
ukiona mwanaume mizilika anakondolea macho hivi ni kama si mnajua vile wanachokosa si mnajua si mmeishi duniani unajua kuchokozwa <laughs> unaona duka ni za viana kuangalia unaona hii ni tamaa usifikirie huu mtu ameanguka saa hiyo huu ni mtu ameanguka na kama mgekuwa naye mahali private Hello praise God. Dunu kuna watu hakuanguka ni kwa sababu ulikataa kuanguka na yeye lakini yeye ameanguka. Never call them brothers and sisters. Waambie you are already evil. Ndani yake kuna dhurumba ya tamaa ambao hajakubali isimame. And therefore God is saying utakaposikia ndani yako una kitu kama hiyo you need to allow God to quiet you kwaeti akutulize kuna dhurupa ndani yako inahitaji damu ya Yesu dhurupa ya tamaa dhurupa ya hasira dhurupa ya mawazo machafu dhurupa dhurupa unakuta unaongea na mume wako anything kuna watu kanisani wanatulia kwa maana Yesu wako hapa na ukataka tukujue ni mzuri but when you get to the house unaweza sema anything kwa mtoto Hello praise God. Osadwe ngani issue sometime mtoto mtoto mchanga katoto kadogo kako na stomach ulcers. Kwa sababu ya maneno mama yake humwambia. Mama nazaabia mtoto naweza kukua ni zai mwingine. No, you could believe me. Kuna you need to you need to go to God now right now. That God quiet you. Kwa maana dhuruba za dani huharibu biashara. Dhuruba za dani huharibu boa. Dhuruba za dani we huharibu mpango Mungu alikuwa amekuwekea fulani a season. Ulikuwa dunu ndio uingie kwa baraka na, na, na majira mapya. You need to be sober. You need to be quiet. You need to be still. You need to obey God. How the elder brother za bwana na wede bad na kifua yako imeinuka unaongea anything. How watu wanaongea hivyo they don't stay long. Ugojeka haraka. Magojo hii mnasikia na boss yako abukizo watu. Si abukizo ni mtu akanaye peke yake. Dunu duniani hii kile kinatupatia ushindi ni Yesu Kristo. Kile kinatupatia ya ushindi ni Kristo na ufu wake. <coughs> Ukifikiri ni ule utu wako na hasira yako na nini? Let me tell you, utapata shetani hiyo ndio maeneo na kugojea. And very soon utakuta uko na stomach ulcers, uko na diabetes, kichwa kina roho inapiga kwa maana uliingia maeneo badala ya kutumia damu ya Yesu, badala ya kutumia siraha za kiroho, ulitumia utu. Na utu katika level ya utu Devil is an expert there. Christ is not an expert there. Yesu ha, Yesu afanye kazi huko chini kwa mashetani, Kristo ametukuka juu. The moment niko katika Kristo. Amen. Formula za wanadamu za uchafu hazinipati. Amen. God bless you. Which weapons are you using? You are you using carnal weapons or spiritual weapons? Kama utatumia siraha za kimwili na kuambia dunia inazijua zaidi. Na wewe hapo umeokoka, you are not an expert kwa siraha za kimwili. We are expert kwa siraha za kiungu. Let us remain in God and with his weapons. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka tuangalie kitu kinaitwa the reality of Jesus Christ in the storm ukweli wa Yesu Kristo katika dhoruba tukitumia mifano ambao ilikuwa natural and physical kitabu cha Mariko chapter 4 tunaona verse 37 kuna jambo moja hapo hebu fungua eh, Mark chapter 4 na tuanzie that 35 kwa haraka bible inasema siku ile kuli kulipokuwa jioni akawaambia na tuvuke mpaka ngambo i would like to introduce to you a, 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 kitu ambacho hakieleweki sana lakini huwa kinaruhusiwa na kutokea storm storm 
Kristo nasema na tuvuka nini? Ngambo. Tuko Mark chapter 4 verse 35. Hiyo kitabu na dio tunasoma kila saate. Unajua Mark naipenda sana. Ungali hujaipata. Maliko. Haya. Maina wa keyboard. Wapi maliko yako? Iko hapo. Wapi msichana yangu? Ako pale. Eh, hey, mzuri kabisa umetuza. Hata barakoa zinafanana. Haya. Now, siku ile kulipokuwa jioni akawaambia tuvuke mpaka ngambo wakawacha mkutano wakamchukua vile vile alivyo katika chobo na vyombo vingine vilikuwepo pamoja naye that seven ikatokea dhuruba kuu na ya, ya upepo mawimbi yakapiga chombo hata kikaanza kujaa maji now there are storms storms abazo hazieleweki you are not the cause because hii safari haikuwa ya wanafunzi it was a proposal of christ tuvuke let's go let's go safari haikuwa yao safari ilikuwa mwenye safari the master the other and finisher tulipia njoo the other and perfecter the designer of the journey is christ na maana wanapitia wanapitia pale aliwaambia na kile wanatumia ni kile alipitisha and by the way na yeye Kristo mwenyewe ako ndani ya chobo na hiki chobo ambao Yesu ako ndani ndio kinapigwa na wind storm na waves mpaka it was already feeling already na jaa maji sikiza safari ni ya Yesu bahari ni ile amechagua chobo ni kile amechagua kodani na the moment wameanza kwenda kimepigwa na dhoruba za upepo mpaka kinajaa maji storms that you do not understand the purpose but hata kama uelewi maana as long as Jesus akodani you may not have any problem mambo haya yanatokea nikiwa na Yesu ndani Hallelujah. I know of a preacher in Nigeria. Alikuwa anaenda America big big meetings, crusades. Na Mungu alikuwa amemwambia, amemuonyesha what will happen. Dege iki, ikivuka Atlantic Ocean, pilot akasema a very straight statement ambao hukataka kusikia kwa dege. Very straight. Bona dege huwa iko juu 40 cm, 4000 whatever. Akasema now akasema now people on board hatuelewi toko wapi pilot akisema hivyo the next one minute or two they will clash na kama ndege huwa ina, ina mafuta mengi sana hautarajii kuona anything inachoma kila kitu but this mighty man of god aliposikia pilot amesema hivyo ndani yake kukainuka nguvu akaenda akasema please let me go there akasema pilot you are wrong for the lord showed me nikiwa america na akiponya that one cannot be changed my god cannot lie akasimama hapo anjua pale pale wana wanakuwa kuna machi nyingi sana akasimama hapo akaanza kuomba dege jipata imerudi kwa laini na ikaenda akasema yes hatu get you know what why because you know safari iko na ni yeso amekutuma but storms have come either they were natural kama hii sasa i don't know lakini mimi huwa natumia maoni yangu do you know ngambo ile ndio kulikuwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa na pepo zaidi ya 2000 or maybe 3000 demons i suspect kwa maana katika siri ya Yesu although wanafunzi hawakujua Jesus was going there going there to do those demons i as i suspect it was battle from there alikuwa naenda inchi ya wagerasi ambapo kulikuwa na mtu amepagawa anakama kaburini inchi haigepitika akona pepo kama 3000 na hakuna mtu angemuweza hak- 
hakuna any means angefugwa naye na kwa maana wanalenga kwa attack i knew and i suspect it was attack from that stronghold it is haijaandikwa lakini ni tafsiri ya kiroho bwana yesu asifiwe sana hiyo tafsiri nini tafsiri ya kiroho na unakuta one time nilikuwa naenda crossed lamu lamu that morning niko naenda na ndege nitoke hapa nishuke lamu and then wakatagaza Mombasa road kuna gari imeanguka gari hasipiti alafu hii ya umoja ikawa na traffic jam sana nikaambia kama utwende tukoje church ban tulipoenda ha nikaona ndege taniacha tulikaa almost 2 hours nikaambia kijana mwingine hapo afanya hivi chukua chuku, hiyo bag i mean chukua hii tupande bora bora twende airport twende airport tukar noja boda boda zikie airport sasa mimi nikafika mbele haya boda boda <laughs> bili had a problem yangu kwa jia ikaisha mafuta tukaweka sasa naendelea na, na, tukuchelewa. Haya, boda boda hazikie hapo. Kufika nikawekwa nje ya hapo. Sina gari, sijulikani. Mama mmoja aliagaza, "We well, gentleman, I know your problem. Kuja nikuweke hapo. Mimi hata sibujui." Akaniweka. Dugu hapa niliacha, hana hiyo neema. Naye hao ikaisha mafuta. Yeye yeah, alipowekwa pale, hajui what to do. Hajui hata haja kuwa hapo. Sasa mimi nipofika nikapata on the way i had two phones kuna ile mzee na ingine mpya that was so expensive hiyo mpya ilipotea nikawa na kale ka mzee karibu kana karibia mlika mwizi au mlika ine bote i don't know haya sasa kufika nikakuta simu ya almost 50000 is lost sawa ndege inaniacha no what do i do what do i do what do i do haya mustana boni pata hapo alipopata nina hema akambia akanichekelea akambia audio nichekelea akambia sikiza kwa maana hii tiketi yako mwenye kuandika alisahau kuandika jina bishop akambia why akambia don't worry bishop akambia hunijui lakini hii kazi nafanya airport ni ori tambili. Wewe ulikuja kanisani kwetu, ukaniita mbele, ukasema nitaajiliwa kazi kwa ndege. That's why I'm here. Na kwa maana bishop you the prophet who prophesied, ile ndege haitaondoka ile masaini atakao kuondoka, itakugojea. <laughs> Hallelujah. And now problem ikina kai ikalais Hello praise God. Dugu nani acha na bagi yangu na ilikuwa na nguo zangu na Biblia. Simu yake imezimika na hajui airport. Another problem. Ha. Sasa kama kama bishop do this. Wewe ingia ndege uende. Nipe namba ya dugu tamtafuta hata kama ni usiku. I'll make sure ndege itakao kuja lamu kesho. Nitawaamuru wabebe bagi yako na uletee mpaka mahali huko. Sawa? Rona storms plus fever. Kama wewe ni mtumishi wa fever or kumama. Hello praise God. Tukaenda bwana. Haya tulipoenda mahali crossed ilikuwa ni inja msikiti. Ha wa 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 wa. Tulihubiri gospel. Gospel ni nzuri bwana. Gospel is the power of God unto salvation. I like it. Hallelujah. I so muslim wakiokoka. Akipe bishop bobe wako polewe lakini siku ya kwanza nilihubiri na nguo chafu Lazima ujue why this storm is because of the battle ahead is because of the mission ahead Hallelujah Wiza una bwana unaenda mission hiyo mission kuna ngome utaangusha hiyo mission kuna wachawi wataokoka hiyo mission hallelujah sometimes mimi ni madam there are times imeitwa nikahubiri unakuta jamu imetokea naweka gari petrol station nachukua bodaboda na bebo na bodaboda almost 10 kilometers 
Naambia watu don't worry nimeacha gari bali sana kwa maana niliona mpango wa shetani wa kuzuia nifika crusade na nikasema whatever come me I must, I must get there Satan I must overcome the storm I know the reason of the storm Hallelujah Ni vizuri usichanganyikiwe I suspect like Jesus was in the boat na Bible inasema kwamba wakati hii storm ilipiga chombo karibu kianguke the only thing wewe sikiza the only thing ilikuwa ya maana and the only answer they had is simple the owner the author of the journey is Christ the designer of the journey is Christ the approver the, the one who give approval to this trip is Christ the one who give direction is Christ aliye toabia ni ngapo gani ni Yesu na ako ndani ya chombo i give god praise because jesus is in the boat kuna mawimbi itaisha si kwa sababu una any wisdom is because christ the only answer to the storm is christ being with you hallelujah umeolewa doa ni mungu alikupa aliongea muri nadhiri mlitoa hapa Immediately after one month mukiona maybe dio haya muna subuana but you discover Christ is still in this marriage hallelujah badara ya kusubuka why don't you mwenye katika doa atagudua Yesu bele ndiye ataokoa ndoa mwenye katika hiyo company atagujua Yesu ata kama tunapitia kwa shida hii Yesu wako ndani ndio atafauru. Yesu aliamka. The Bible says Yesu alipoinuka alifanyaje? Check your Bible. Yesu alipoinuka Bible inasema ikatokea dhoruba naye mwenyewe alikuwa kwa ndani. Haya that nine aka akaamka akaukemea upepo akaiambia bahari nyamaza utulie kama kuna kitu ambacho huwa kinasumbua akili ya mtu ni mazingira ambao iko na dhoruba sometimes you wonder can god deal with the storm storm kama vile niambia is a violent disturbance violence hufanya mtu akili yako ikose fahamu na ikose stability unajua haya hello praise god let me say something Unajua hao askari wa askari wa polisi na wakora. Mkora hata kama ako na ukimwi ako karibu kufa. Atakustua kwanza. Sima baraka. Na na kako na kilo 20. Na atoe kaspisto to. Unajua by the way I was surprised America buduki na uzu hata kwa kiosk. Tuliona huyu. Unabwa can you buy one? zinauzo hata marisasi ikija Kenya we guy <laughs> and no wonder now they need to think because wana wana sana siku hizi wana wana mtu anamka tu anakupiga risasi now praise the lord I, i'm saying this by god's grace by god's grace dhoruba is violent disturbance either ime imetokea kwa watoto au imetokea kwa marriage au imetokea kwa safari haitokei ikiwa kitu ambao ni cha upole dhoruba ni pigo violent kwa hivyo jabra kwanza ka, uh, unless we unless uwe umeomba sana unless uwe umeomba nini sana dhoruba praise god dhoruba huondoa unless uwe umeomba sana huondoa fahamu Unakuta ulijua Yesu ni mwokozi lakini umesahau. <laughs> Unajua imeandikwa greater is he who is in me than Unakuta for some time umesahau. Wewe si ni ukweli? Hapa hapa majority ya is true na wakora. Au si wakora ni polisi. Sema manaka. Hata kitabu hicho. Obisa, obisa. Utana nani? Wewe ndio naiba hii barabara wewe ndio mkora unakuta umepandikwa babo wanacheka najua hiyo umepitia hata 
Joro joro bebidia yo. Joro three task kubwa ya kalia pia. Bada kakubi. Uko wapi joro? Ni kuburuburu polisi. Nini baya? Unajua bishop ni bataka kupitia kwa bridge juu dipitia chini. Na sikio joro haku amevaa tai, haiku amevaa kama tukijana wa mtaa. Yenyewe sasa hizi ni amdosu lakini mabasi. Ah. Sasa nikapigia OCS joga kachiwa. You see? Unastuliwa. Unastuliwa. You know, dharupa ni kitu about uso wake ni violent. Mpaka hata kama una haki unasahau. And that's why you need to be very careful because the sign ya attack ya storm ni kitu huodoa ukweli wako. Ukweli wako the ring you. Wewe ni suja lakini umesahau. Wewe ni mtu ambaye ako na nguvu lakini umesahau. Watch out the tactics of storms. Hello praise God. Na sa dhuruba ya kuwa mtu. Mtu asimame na roho ya violence. Nasikia lile. Jamaa asimama kwa bia nitakuwa wewe. Pani wani nani? Na labda ni mume wako. Wa mama mna kai mna. Na kuna wa mama pia ambao wanajua kutoa storm. Msiwaone hivi hivi. Ni Yesu amewatuliza hao. Kuna wengine hapo. Hapa ni Yesu amewatuliza. Mimi sisemi ni wewe lakini Yesu alikutuliza. Kuna wengine hatari. Akikasirika original. Aza toa jasho kama ile akisemane damu. Sema <clears throat> Unakuta anazunguka mesha. Anachukua kuna mama anachukua TV ana. And, and especially nan, you mean to be very careful. Kuna wadada asipoomba. Just because brother is saved. Unakuta there unakuta kuna shida nyingi sana. Have cases zinatusubua sasa za married couples. Dada naweza kasirika ovyo ovyo just because brother ameokoka. Dada naweza atachukua kuchoma vitu just na kama baba angekuwa shiba ile ingine. <laughs> hmm? Wazee kama baba Franco na Samara anaza za baba eh koko kuna fujo sema wangu akileta fujo na mkubusha bila kutulikuwa bereni ni kama bereni walikuwa Ala <laughs> mama yake rafiki yangu sana anambia bishop na kushukuru unihubiria baba Franco akaokoka huyu buseli kwa mkali sana hilo ni shiba wajitire <laughs> kuna wale hukubusha mama <clears throat> unajua hatukuana kama tumeokoka eh kebidi kiu ni wakili ika na ye. <laughs> But tuko na case baya. Inifaa tukienda kuhubiri nyumba kwa nyumba. Unakuta mwanaume na kuambia. Bishop, nita okoka niteswe na, na mke wangu. Vile njini uteswe na wake zenu. Paka imetotea shida in families. Kusababu, dada sababu muzea ameokoka na hujali family sana. Huobi sana. Huna shuhuli. Kwa hivyo dhoruba hupitia kwako. Na kuna wanaume pia wako na hiyo problem. So ni vizuri sana tuwe very careful. Dhoruba one katika storm yote. The moment utajua Jesus is involved. Don't make a mistake. Ya kwenda nje yake. Don't make a mistake. Ya kuruhusu uoga, uoga wa dhoruba kuweze. Kwa maana wanafunzi wa Yesu ukiangalia the storm was so violent that they forgot Christ is all powerful. Na kama wanajua iliondoka. Si, haya, praise the Lord, nisanimieni. Mnakumbuka Yesu akisulubiwa. Si alikuwa ameambia wanafunzi atakufa na afufuke. Lakini kitendo violence, violence ya Friday. Vile waliona kiteswa, walisahau dhurumba huondoa ahadi usipoomba sana dhurumba huondoa hakika hapo unajua dhurumba hata huaribu boma unakuta mlichafuka mkachafuka mkaharibu
mkaribu oda ya family, mkaribu mikataba yenu, mkaribu biashara. Na muka, na mkakojeka. Unakuta baada ya muda fulani, mama ako na ugojo wa moyo. Baada muda fulani, mzee roho inapiga kwa sababu hamu wewe sikiza kila mlitumia wakati wa dhuruba is your own energy hatukuubwa tukiwa tumekamilika tuliubwa tukamilike katika Kristo aliyeshinda kifo bwana asifiwe now i like you to go and, and study Matthew 14 utaona dhuruba ingine Matthew 14 verse 21 to 9 Matthew 14 verse 29 biblia inaongea kuhusu petro aha Kristo uh, alipokuwa akitembea baharini anatembea juu ya maji wanafunzi wakasema walipomuona verse 26 Adam Mathayo 14 verse 26 Matthew 14 26 wanafunzi walipomuona akienda juu ya bahari wakafadhaika wakisema ni kivuli wakapiga yoe kwa hovu mara Yesu alinena akawaambia jipeni moyo ni mimi msiogope Petro akamjibu akasema Bwana ikiwa ni wewe niamuru nije kwako juu ya maji akasema jo no but I like to notice something Nani anatembea juu ya maji Yesu Petero ni nani ameongeresha ni Yesu Lord if it is you command me to come to you on the water that is verse 28 Now look at the issue Mwenye mwenye kutembea juu ya maji ni Yesu. Petero alitamani kutembea juu ya maji. Mwenye kumwambia tembea na akamwezesha ni Yesu. But immediately the Bible says ukienda hiyo verse uh, verse 29 I think verse 29 uh, Petero aya mara Yesu alinena akawaambia jipe mo verse 20 akasema Jo Petro verse 29 akashuka choboni akaenda kwa miguu juu ya maji ili kumwendea Yesu. Lakini alipoona upepo akaogopa akaanza kuzama akipiga yoe akisema bwana niokoe kuna kitu nataka mjue storms storms kuna mambo mengi huingia ndani ya mtu ndani ya mtu haraka na kitabu imani yako yaze kazi imeingia haya mambo ya kuo mambo ya kuona mambo ya kusiki kitabu imani yako iwe activated ianze sasa kuongea yaliyoongewa yameingia na kukutia uoga yanaokusumbua akili yameingia na kuharibu before your heart arises before your faith starts speaking kuna mambo imenenwa ikakuralia na mapendo tusipokuwa careful tumuelewe Yesu ni nani kuna mpango wa uchafu ambao ni tuovakamu look at peter Peter anatembea juu ya maji. Mwenye kumwambia atembea juu ya maji ni Yesu Kristo. Christ is in charge of the activity. Walk. But Bible nasemaje Peter alipoona dhoruba. Wind storm. Alipoona Bible says akaanza kuzama. Now what happens? akasao do you know something jesus was right there kabia jo jo come come lakini upepo we did storm lipo kuja bible says now peter did not see christ again aliona we did storm aliona dhoruba alipoona dhoruba sasa akaogopa akaanza kuzama But friends let me tell you hata kama wewe unapitia hali kama hiyo don't forget Jesus is still around He is in charge of the mission Ovu kama mtu we kama mtu umeona with storm ukaogopa please haraka jipe moyo because Peter hakupotea indefinitely he regained na badara ya kupotelea kwa dhoruba akageuka akamwambia Jesus save me Yesu akamwambia mwenye ina, mwenye imani hamba kuja na kainuliwa tena akatembea juu ya maji Please don't worry about storms about huingilia miradi yetu na Yesu Christ will deal with them 
usipotee pako kasahau Yesu alikuweko usipotee kiakiri pako kasahau ni Yesu alikuambia tebea juu ya maji usipotee wapendwa pako kasahau nilikuwa kamkoji kwa watu wakamkoji you know what happened i, I saw it ni kwa US na na nikaenda nikakanyanga hiyo hiyo vitu no god spoke to me nikiwa pale and i prophesied i sense in my heart wale watu wetu nyumba ilibomoka hapo i sense uh, god spoke to me straight away akanipatia first samuel chapter 30 na daudi na wenzake waliporudi walipata wake na watoto wamembebwa na kila kitu kimeharibika wakalia mpaka wakosa nguvu ya kulia lakini Daudi akajipa nguvu katika Bwana Mungu wake Jehova akamwambia utarejesha kila kitu i that the prophecy for kamukoji people haleluya no wale mnaweza kusikiza leo rurumoka that revelation was so deep nikibiri rurumoka unajua sema kwamba ni kulio doge no devil want to show us like there's nothing else kuna kitu kingine usi usifugwe akili ni kama kuna kitu kingine daudi alisema no way hata kama tumelia tukakosa nguvu ya kulia there should be something else in god akavangu ya maombi god nikikibisha amaleki will i bring back all the children and wives of utawa you know how god answered hakika utawarejesha wote na hakuna hata mmoja atakosa akainuka akawaendea wale wamelia mpaka hawana nguvu ya kulia akasema inukani god has spoken oh god has spoken this no way dhuruba huja katika mission umefungua biashara dhuruba imekuja on the way never be disturbed mpaka usahau ni Yesu alikuambia tebe juu ya maji. He will restore you back. Na kuna tena sauti ya dhuruba itaongea when Christ is in church. Haleluya. Katika mali kwa hiyo tumeonaje Kristo aliposimama aisema upepo tulia bahari tulia kabisa. Zikatulia. Do you know something eh? Boat iko na nikabot kana kwa na side bill pale abe na nyuma yeso alipesema akasema wind subside storm stop go kukawa swali now bible says <laughs> wanafunzi wa Yesu wakaogopa Yesu wakaenda mwisho wa boat pale wakakaa sasa hawaogopi storm wanaogopa the power is too much I pray that God you come and bring the opposite. Uliogopa dhoruba lakini zile nguvu Yesu atatumia kuchukia dhoruba hata hizo zitakustua mpaka uibe wimbo mpya. Haleluya. Because walikaa pale kasema kai. Na njua bereni wakikuwa na Yesu. Wakamfurahia. Wakaenda kwa kona wakasema what manner of man is this? Even winds and storm obey him. I pray very soon you sing a song what manner of man is this even storms and wind obey him hallelujah i declare to you every storm ambao imetokea kwa jia ambao mungu alichagua never never forget jesus is in charge of that journey he is the author and the perfecter of what you are doing hiyo familia uko naye unajua ni yeye alianzisha mawimbi imekuja usiondoe macho kwa Yesu because storms are violent disturbance ambao huharibu mtu akili mpaka nasahau kwamba ni Yesu alikuambia uvuke ngapo may god anoint your life god bless you so much god keep you the reality of christ in the storm. I would like to read the final verse. Uh, this message is a, is a message that God gave me nikiomba in the second service and also uh, the fourth service. I hope nitaza maliza what God told me. If you are able to remain behind or maybe 
Ukijau kaya inje, you can hear the less of the message. But now, I like that to, let's go to book Acts chapter 27. Acts chapter 27. Now, there's something here. In safari, you know, safari ya paoro ya muisho kweda Rome. This is a very interesting journey. Because Paul had a case. Alikuwa na case. Na ukisoma matendo ya mitume 27 Ah Utaona story iko hapo. Paul alikuwa na case bereni bere ya mfaume Agrippa na ikasemekana hivi na hii kitu niletea shida because Agrippa sema hivi Paulo angewe angewe kwa huru aende kivi yake isipokuwa amedai aone Caesar a statement that tuacha hiyo kwaza Paul akawa sasa lazima aende 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 mnajua ukiangalia map mahali Jerusalem iko Na mahali Rome iko. Kuna distance kubwa. Na kuna sehemu lazima mtu agetumia baha. Agetumia nini? Chobo. Baharini. Na chobo bao po walitumia. Ikawa na, uh, na two problems. One, ikapigwa na mawimbi kapisa. Na wenzake. Paka ikabidi watupe vitu vyote baharini. But po akasema. Angalia. Verse 24. Uh, verse 20, 23. Kwa maana usiku huu wa leo. Ebu tuwanzi 22. Uh, 20, 21. Na walipo kuwa mekaa wakati mwingi bila chakura. Paulo akasimama. Verse 21. Akasimama katikati yao akasema. Wanaume. Ili wapasa kunisikiriza mimi. Na kuto kugo, kungoa nanga huko krete na kupata madhara haya na hasara hii sasa verse 22 na wa, na, wa, na wapeni shauri iweni na moyo mkuu kwa maana hapana hata nafsi moja miongoni mwenu atakayepotea ila marikebu tu kwa maana usiku huu wa leo malaika wa Mungu yule ambaye mimi ni wake nae die ni mwabuduye alisimama karibu nami akaniambia usiogope paulu huna budi kusimama bere ya kaisari tena tazama mungu amekupa watu wote wanaosafiri pamoja nawe basi wanaume chagamkeni kwa sababu na muamini mungu Hallelujah. You see now, walikuwa, Paul alikuwa passenger. Kama Paul hakuwa na marikebu yake. Sasa marikebu imepigwa, 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 imepigwa. Paul anambia na jameni, tulipokuwa kwa Irad ya Klete. Mgenisikiza tu geenda. Eh? Hapo tu geenda kwa sababu sasa I could foresee a problem. Haya, sikiza. Any time there's a problem, hakutakosa kitu ya kuregret au kitu ya mtu wa kurao msi kweli but does, does, does that solve a problem always in your family in your business in your life jaribu sana kuepuka hiyo kastori kwa maana utaona hata watoto sometimes ni ki address shida za watoto waliofukuzwa shule some children make a mistake wanaenda kwa principal kupeana story za vile wazazi wao hukaa vibaya kama mjo zazi children sometimes disclose and then wakija counseling asema wanabona bishop can you handle the issue of those parents because wazazi hawajui siku hizi kwamba kule kukobana kwenu na kutokuwa na amani uharibu expectation ya watoto sana na kuna watoto kwa shule akikubuka vile mama yake alilia wakati baba alimtusi au vile baba yake alinyimwa chakura na akaona baba yake akijioshea nguo those children 
it is unless wa wa fudishwe na wa special counseling you can cause mental health kwa watoto hello praise god na kuna wasichana wanakaa kisiwa akisema hivi mimi kuna mmoja aliita mama yake mama mama kuja hapa you are dangerous woman mom in case i get married usijo katembea kwangu na uwe close to my wife na in case unakuja you need my permission why my son you are dangerous woman why umetesa baba yangu tangu tuko watoto na mama ni mhubiri mama ni reverend <laughs> ni mhubiri so it's good to know that now bwana asiwe sana hapa bwana samaji mganisikiza but no but listen paul hakuka kwa hiyo blame kwa maana kuambia mganisikiza na wewe wametoka inasaidia hapana akasemaje msiogope kwa maana malaika wa mungu mungu wangu ninayemtumikia aitokea usiku amen na kaniambia lazima nifike Rome amen na kaniambia paulo merikebu itaharibika na vitu vitaharibika lakini wewe na wenzako nitawaokoa akasema please hata kama kuko hivi nina sauti ya Mungu wangu ninamtumikia na akawaambia hata kama amjui Mungu wangu kupitia kwangu ameniambia mtaokolewa haleluya when jesus is there wakati wa storm i pray wapendwa hizi madhuruba zinakuja and they make life difficult dry dreadful nakuta mnakaukiwa kazini dawa mnakaukiwa kwa watoto mnakaukiwa naomba kuwe na mtu ambaye this violent disturbance hautaruhusu hiyo doe ukweli uliojua Oh hata kama una uoga namna gani kubokeni ni Yesu aliwaambia mvuke na kubokeni hakuachwa kwa chombo hata kama kumekuaje kubuka ni Yesu alikuwa biote beju ya maji hata kama dhuruba imekuweza kiakili Jesus is still in charge he will raise you again and you walk on water there can you hear this face two ya Yesu Phase 2 ya imani, phase 2 ya baraka, phase 2 ya biashara, phase 2 ya ushindi ambao huzaliwa na Yesu baada ya kukuokoa kwa dhuruba. Phase 2 who are very glorious. I say phase 2 of your business after Christ deals with your storm. Phase 2 of your marriage baada ya Yesu kuchukia dhuruba hiyo marriage. Phase 2 ya watoto naoza baada ya Yesu kuchukia dhuruba ya watoto will be glorious and Satan atakuwa anajua you have graduated from fear nimehitimu kutoka kwa uoga aliyetumia nimehitimu kutoka kwa ujinga aliyekuwa ameniweka now i know jesus is in charge hallelujah hallelujah Oh Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ is Lord Hallelujah Samento besasa